Check out these tiny boo-boos outfitted in some of the cutest Halloween costumes. It's the year of the tiger this year, so I was like, oh, it's perfect fitting for her. Twins Judah and Dahlia make the perfect superhero duo. There's also Super Luke, a precious pooch, and a cute penguin decked out in the usual counter-shading camouflage. They're not just only store-bought costumes. They're actually things that people actually make with art. And these adorable outfits rival some of the creepiest get-ups. Some were chosen for sentimental reasons like Kaylee, who's dressed as a butterfly. It has significance for my husband's grandma, butterflies, she's passed on and butterflies represent her, so it was kind of special for us. The much anticipated annual tradition is in its fifth year. The neonatal intensive care unit at NYU Langone hosted its Halloween festivities. The spectacular event features nearly two dozen babies, each weighing only a few pounds but bringing lots of excitement to everyone around them. The goal? To help parents, babies and staff bond with one another. We decided that we would um, organize it, tell the parents about it. They got excited. They could make costumes. We would help them also to create costumes if they couldn't think of anything and so it just took off from there. The excitement of the parents grows, the creativity and the artistry that some of the parents come with, like we just have the little mermaid in there. And for parents we spoke with, this day is extremely special because since they won't be able to go trick-or-treating with their little ones this year, it gives them a chance to create memories that'll last a lifetime. It's special, you know, it's I can't take her home, so I'll celebrate it here for her first Halloween. There were definitely some tricks, but there were a lot of treats with Halloween this year. And uh, Dad gets to eat all the candy. <laughs> we want to show parents everywhere, even though the NICU is considered scary, it doesn't have to be.